Apollo 62. Hello, Apollo. Jason. Woo. <laughs> oh, no. I got too hyped there for a second. Now my dog's there. Okay. Well, I got to mute myself. Hold on. Let's see. Sean Waka. Greetings. Thank you for joining. Just to say on um, Instagram that I went live and I can't really do it now because <laughs> I'm using my phone to record so that kind of sucks whatever okay Sean Waka, how's my day been so far? Not bad. So far, so good, Sean. Thank you for asking. What about yourself? I can help you get a lot of views on Instagram. Really, Sean, how do you, uh, how can you help me do that, Sean? Because I'm trying to find that algorithm. I'm trying to find that... I don't know. Okay. So I think the shot looks good. Any other suggestions, guys, for the shot? I think it's good. Promotion for sure. I've been doing it on TikTok as well. I did create a TikTok account, Sean. And um, I haven't really, I've been lazy. I only made one video, but I hear, yeah, the algorithm is a lot better with TikTok and Instagram. So this is true. Okay, I think I'm ready to start. TikTok is best for algorithm. Nice, Sean. I will. I will keep that in mind. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, I think I'm ready to start now. Okay, greetings everyone and welcome to this very special stream of taking my Christmas tree down for this for the year. So it's kind of bittersweet, but, um, you know, kind of has to be done. So I figure, you know, I would stream it. I actually made a uh, challenge. It was like a group challenge to collect enough streamy points, like channel points, for me to take the tree down. And there was a vote for me to wear short shorts. <laughs> so... I know I was debating whether or not I was going to wear a dress, um, but I tried the dress on and I wasn't really feeling it. So I ended up with the shorts. But uh, 
Someone probably wishes they were the tree. Yeah, Sean, this is true, this is true. Thank you though, you're too kind. So yeah, um, that's kind of my outfit today, guys. It was a vote from Channel Points. So it's short shorts and we talked about wearing a red dress. So I didn't want to let you guys down completely. So I wore a red top instead of a red dress. So you still got the red, you got the booty shorts. So I feel like it is definitely a win-win for you guys. Short shorts, yeah. Okay, so um, guys, I figure and one, by the way, I'm not playing Christmas music for once, so, or lo-fi, non-copyright lo-fi. This is like non-copyright hip-hop. So it's a little bit more upbeat, I thought, for the occasion. So hopefully you guys like it, and hopefully I don't get the volume and my sound muted in the VOD afterward, because this is like non-copyright music that I got off YouTube. So hopefully it's all good. And, um... Oh, this is better actually. Um, for the occasion as well, I thought I would have a drink. A celebratory bittersweet drink. I had, I have one bottle of my wine from the wine advent calendar that I was opening um, during the month of December. So I have one bottle left and I figure I would have it. You're right, Apollo 62, I agree. I think Christmas music in January should be illegal. It should only be designated during the month of December. Like playing Christmas music in November is too early and playing it in January is too late. Like it's a, it's a very specific time to play that music because it can kind of get annoying after a while, right? So, yeah. I did, Jason, I did chill the last bottle in the fridge, but I also added a couple ice cubes too just in case it gets warm. So yeah, I did. <laughs> Sean Waka. No way, loser. Thank you so much, loser, <laughs> for the sub. And for the gifted sub to Red Shadow 980. That's so kind of you, loser. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much. You are a loser still. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But I feel like you might like to be called that. I don't know. But, um,. Sean Walker, am I married? Technically, no, I am not married. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, loser is a winner. I think so too. I think so too. And he's been following for a minute and already gifted a sub. Well, you know what I mean? Like, Sometimes you just like what you see, you know right away, right? So it's like, why, why waste time? Why waste time, Apollo? I like that. I like that. A Jason seconds that as well. <laughs> Maybe we can get married and trying to grow old the right way. Possibly, Sean. Possibly. All right, guys. Wow. So thank you so much for the the gifted sub and the. That's so nice of you, loser. Okay. Wow, way to start the stream off with a bang. Nice, nice. So guys, without further ado, I do have that bottle of wine that I want to crack. This is from the advent calendar that I was opening during the month of December. So it is from France. It is, it does say Jason to drink this wine on ice. 
So this is why I also added, it's chilled in the fridge, but I also added ice cubes to my glass because actually it specifies to do so. So it is a Brut Ice Pinot Noir 2020. 200 milliliters, product of France. It's a demi-sec, so it's a medium dry. So it shouldn't be super, super dry. It should be, it should be bearable. Cause I don't really like super, super dry wines. I feel like a medium dry is bearable though. Let's have a drink. Sean, perfect timing. It did go well, didn't it? Now let's move on to the drinks. Screw top. Isn't that great? <laughs> Cork would have been cool in this little 200 milliliter bottle, but honestly, a screw top is so much easier. Sometimes I have difficulties uncorking a bottle of wine. I don't know why. You know. Okay. okay, cork would have been cool to make it plop. So guys, I have so much to cheers to for all of my subs and followers who have been following me from the advent calendar unboxing. Thank you so much for joining me along this ride and this adventure all the way now into 2022, so a new year. So I hope that you guys continue to, you know, to like hang out with me, so I really appreciate it. And also, thank you so much to all my new followers and new subs who may have not have like, you know, seen me doing the advent calendar unboxing, but you know what, better late than never, so. Cheers to all my old friends and new friends as well. This is pretty good. It's not that dry at all. It's like a medium dry. It's pretty good, I have to say. Wow, I wonder what's going on up there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. People usually give me stuff to open up for them. Sean, <laughs> guilty as charged. I am that person that gives all my stuff to, for people to open. I hand it, I just, I give it to the experts, you know, just like give it to the professionals. Yeah, that is me. Cheers, Jason. Cheers, you are my longest, you have known me the longest by far, Jason. So you win, you win that award. Ding, 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 Jason. I wish there was a bad for, badge for that. At least you're honest. <laughs> yeah, I don't pretend. If, if I don't know, I, I will admit it. I don't try to pretend if I don't know. I'm definitely honest in that way. All right. So guys, without further ado, let's do it. Let's start taking the ornaments down. Now, I was thinking a pretty cool thing to do as well when I take the ornaments down, like some of the ornaments that have special meaning for me, I can come and you know, introduce the ornament to the camera, kind of show it off and do a little little mini description, you know, of, of the ornament. Not every single ornament on the tree, but you know, just the ones that 
have a lot of meaning to me because some of these ornaments on the tree do have a pretty deep meaning so some of them are pretty special okay so guys without further ado let's do it So this ornament, if all of my uh, followers that have been following me during the advent calendar unboxing during the month of December, they will know that I received this tea. This is actually an ornament that's filled with tea inside. I'm, I'm not going to open it, but it is filled with tea. And it, uh, it came with, I think, three or four ornaments for the tree. So I will not be packing this one away for the year. This one is actually going to go in my kitchen and I'll be consuming it over the year. So this one I will put somewhere special. This ornament, I think I got online. It's not it's nothing too crazy. And guys, there's gonna be a bunch of like needles like flying off the tree. So be prepared for a mess, guys. It's gonna get messy. It's gonna get messy. I'm glad I met you. Aw, oh, Sean, thank you. I'm glad that I met you too. Aw, oh, you're so nice. You're so kind, Sean. I hope your um, uh, Minecraft is going well. The new guild that you have going, Sean. Oh, we have a redeem posture check. Okay. She's a pretty sweet lady. Aw, thank you, Jason. Posture check. Okay, sure. Let's see here, guys. I gotta... I feel like I straightened up enough there for you. <laughs> okay. Ash Ketchum! Greetings, Ash! Thank you for joining me! You actually just spent more money for packs on it. 2022 is going well so far after meeting you. Thank you, Sean. You're so sweet. Okay, guys, these ornaments here are actually cheapies from Ikea. One of my favorite stores. I love Ikea. So they're, they are like a very fine crepe paper. So if you are to put Christmas lights behind it, it will illuminate and sort of look like the house is lit from within. So that's kind of a fun fact. I always try to put these in front of the string lights and light it up a bit. I 
guess I'll come across the third one sometime. It may be on the back of the tree. Ash Ketchum, how was my day? Thank you for asking, Ash. So far, so good, I have to say. I didn't really do much. It's absolutely freezing here um, in near the Toronto area. So I think it's like minus 20 something with the wind chill, like minus 24 with the wind chill. You can get frostbite in two minutes of being outdoors in two minutes. So I've kind of just been hibernating indoors, staying warm and cozy. I don't really like the cold. So um, I usually hibernate in the winter anyway. So I've just been hanging out, not doing much. How do I like how the red and purple mix ended up? You know what, Ash, I don't mind it actually. I don't mind it at all. So how, what do you think, Ash? Do you like that it clashes the purple hair with the red shirt or do you prefer it clashing? Uh, Sean, is there a better way to reach you outside of media? I have a Discord, Sean. You can join the Discord and um, Instagram. The cold was brutal this morning. Yes, Jason. I was taking my dogs out and like we were just in and out. There was no messing around. It's like, get out there, do your business and like get inside. So. You do like it. Nice, Ash. Sometimes the clash works. You're right, sometimes it does. Nice, Sean, thank you. Yeah, add me up on Discord if you like. Okay. It's free and you can just, anyone can can enter so another ikea ornament And here is another one of the tea. Classic Christmas tea. So I will not be packing this one away. I will be putting this one in my kitchen. Making a mess already. Minus 24 Celsius, Apollo. We don't, we, we run on uh, metric. I think only the States runs on Imperial. So we are the same as you, Apollo. I'll put this somewhere safe. I think so too, Jason. It's, it's our coldest day and actually they were not predicting it to get this cold. So it ended up getting even colder than anticipated. I joined and messaged about to get a shower before my game. I hope you have a good game, uh, Sean, and thank you for visiting. And we'll, we'll chat on Discord. Loser, you are a bit of a loser. So, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I have to. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> okay. Back to it, guys. Back to it. I'm 
Nice, loser. Thank you so much for the gifted sub again. Wow, you're too kind, loser. You are too kind. A bit of a loser, but a kind one. So thank you. I appreciate that. Another tea, little ornament. This one looks like a little drum, super cute. First flush Darjeeling. So I will enjoy this. Casual motion, congrats on the gifted sub. Wow, lucky you, casual motion. Nice. <laughs> Jason, you're too much. <laughs> Hype mangoes. Greetings, first time chatter, and welcome to taking my tree down. I hope you enjoy. It's mango. Who's mango? I know he's hype, but I don't know who mango is, Jason. But welcome, I love making new friends. But once again, loser is a winner. I do agree, I agree, Jason. So far, loser, I feel like you are the biggest winner tonight. But, you know, thank you. Oh, you have no idea who Mango is. Well, I don't know who, who Mango is either, but I know that he's hype. And, you know, I like, I like hype people. So, they keep things interesting. So, welcome, hype mangoes. Okay. So this one, this ornament is actually has a lot of symbolism, like for me, a lot of meaning. And um, this is like a capsule ornament that I ended up getting at like, I think it was like Indigo Chapters. And this capsule ornament, you can put anything inside. So this is what I have inside the capsule ornament. This was a little piece of the first Christmas tree that I ever put up myself as a grown woman. A little sprig of the Christmas tree as well. And you know me with the David's Tea Advent calendars, I've been opening them for a long time. It's an ornament from David's Tea with the year on the back, 2017. So this, this was the year, guys, that I put my first Christmas tree up on my own, 2017. So this ornament, of course, has so much like deep meaning for me. It's really heavy, though. You have to make sure you really like stick it on a branch that can handle it. But, um, yeah, that's a neat ornament. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool, actually. You can put anything inside. So this, this is an ornament from the first year that I put up my tree. So it will always be super special to me. You surprised the nails are holding up so well? I am too, Apollo. I have to say, they've been going strong. It's been over a month now that I've been wearing them. Yeah, so over a month and they're still all good. 
but it's funny that you say that because I took a like a small nap today because I was up really early and um, when I took the nap I had a dream that my dog bit my nails off like the fake nails off and that they were broken and I had to do the stream today to take the ornaments down and I was freaking out because my like half of my nails were all like broken off and busted looking and they looked so crappy so that was the dream I had just before you know I started getting ready for the stream like when I woke up that was the dream I had when I was taking a nap today believe it or not was that my nails were busted and I was stressing out because I wanted them to be perfect for the stream <laughs> funny enough eh still look like day one thank you Apollo who did it Vegas Vegas did it it was Vegas he was the culprit if you Vegas what is always going to do it so yeah like the two of them one is an angel and one is kind of mischievous and it's it would always be Vegas for sure that rascal I agree Jason that rascal so this ornament is actually from like Canadian Tire. It's glass. I don't really like buying glass ornaments in case they break, but I thought it was super cute with the little LED light inside. It kind of just adds a little extra touch and illuminates the tree. So that is this ornament here. Same goes for this one. I think I got it from Canadian Tire. It's like a little snow globe effect, real glass, which I'm not really keen on, but it was so cute I had to get it because I have like a, um, a winter woodland theme with this calendar. So, you know, this has like a, a deer in the woods on a snowy night type of thing. And it also lights up super cute i couldn't say no whoa loser no way thank you so much for the gifted subs loser you're too kind you're really a loser though but you, you are a kind loser <laughs> Red light, congrats, black mage. Congratulations on your gifted subs. Wow, nice. And you helped me reach my goal, loser. So you may be a loser, but in my heart, you are a winner. So thank you so much, loser. Woohoo! Yes, I met my sub goal. And actually I tried to extend that sub goal to like a little bit more. But because Twitch uh, like Twitch wouldn't let me, I guess because it's my first month streaming. So they maxed it out at 20 subs for the month. I wasn't able to increase it by any more than that. So, wow, you've really helped me attain my goal. So thank you so much, loser. This is actually an ornament that I made from my Christmas tree one year. Like when you get a live tree, you have to cut the trunk a few inches before you place it in water, just because there could be sap that seals the base of the tree and it won't be able to suck up water and drink water. So this is actually from one of my trees 
and I, I just made an ornament out of it. I thought it was super cool because when we cut off the the trunk, it kind of just broke in half perfectly. So I thought it would be a nice little ornament. So this one's kind of special to me. It's actually from one of my trees. Hopefully you reach that goal and increase it again soon. I think I can, Jason. Now that I've reached the goal, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to increase it. And regardless if I've set it at 20, it's already at 21. Um, so I'm sure if people still sub, it'll, it'll allow it to happen. So cool. Wow, thank you so much, loser. This is another one of those ornaments that are glass from Canadian Tire. This one unfortunately does not light up though, but it kind of matches that set. It's like a citadel church uh, with trees on a snowy day. So I thought it was cute. Ash Ketchum, am I Lulu Lemoning again today? No, I'm not Lulu Lemoning today, Ash. I am ice gearing it up. So it's the it's a diamond symbol. And it's from a, an athletic gear company made in Canada called Ice Gear. Actually, I think they've gone out of business now. So it's pretty exclusive stuff because, you know, they've, um, they've stopped manufacturing. So, you know, everything that I have now is pretty rare. So yeah, I actually, believe it or not guys, I used to work for this company. So I have a lot of Ice Gear athletic clothing because I used to like, when I was younger, I used to work at the mall and they had like a location there and I sold, I, I was uh, an ice gear girl. So I was sold some ice gear when I was younger. How am I going to dispose of the tree Apollo 62? I'll just put it for the, the garbage man to pick it up. Tomorrow is garbage day for me. So he will pick it up tomorrow, the garbage man. That's why I kind of wanted to do it today on Tuesday so I can put it outside for the garbage removal to happen on Wednesday. You know, there's a little bit of planning in here, a little bit of planning. Jimmy, greetings, Jimmy. Welcome to my, my very special stream today. I'm taking the tree down. It's kind of bittersweet. But yeah, hello Jimmy. Ice gear was before I knew you, but I remember seeing photos. Yeah, Jason, it was a long time ago and I can't believe I still fit into my clothes from like a long time ago. So I'm really happy and thankful for that as well. That I can still, I'm still the same size that I was a long, long time ago. So thank goodness for that guys. Jimmy, you had a great stream yesterday. I really enjoyed it. And Jason did too. Uh, on the low, Jason messaged me afterward and he was like, wow, I can't believe a, a, a retired wrestler rated Jimmy's stream before. That's so cool. So Jason really liked it that a that, uh, retired wrestler rated your stream. So anyways, we both had a really good time, so. Oh, he was a, sorry, he was a WWE Hall of Famer. Even better, he's, he made the Hall of Fame. I don't really follow, follow wrestling myself, but I feel like some people do, and Jason is one of them, so. You haven't changed since then. Thank you, Jason, thank you. Tommy Dreamer. I'll be in a match with another one this Friday. No way, wow. Mm -hmm. 
I have no idea who Tommy Dreamer is, but I feel like he's pretty epic. Jason was pretty awestruck that when he heard that news, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, Jimmy. That's rad, Jason. That's so West Coast lingo. <laughs> So these ornaments are very special, near and dear to me. These are, these are custom made ornaments that I bought off of Etsy and they actually have the names of my dogs posted on them, like printed on the tags. They're really good quality, they have little um, glass bead eyes. They are the, you know, the Hungarian Vishla breed, so we have Vegas. And of course we have Viva as well. Super cute. I had to incorporate my little puppers on my tree. So these ornaments definitely, you know, have a lot of symbolism and meaning for me. Tommy Dreamer, I went to his house of hardcore in Toronto. Got front row tickets a few years back. Cool, Jason, there you go. Nice. Luxury, I'm here because of the Jimmy Ray show. Hi, Rick. How are you? Nice to see you or talk to you again, Ray House of Hardcore, that's right. You went. Yes, Mad, Mad USA Medusa? Medusa Awesome? Medusa Awesome, is that another um, wrestler? I'm not 100% sure You manage Rick Luxury and Pro Wrestling He's the champion of our business who will be taking on Tommy Dreamer this Friday. Wow! Sick! So guys, these little ornaments are felt ornaments. Cute little mouse ornaments. I think I bought them on... Um, Marks and Spencer online. It's a British uh, department store. So I got it on Marks and Spencer. They, make, they have a really good Christmas section. So I've got these little mice. This guy is holding a little snowball. This is a little caroler, little caroler mouse. And we have, of course, Frosty the Snowman. I absolutely love felt ornaments over glass and if they drop, they won't shatter and break. And I just think there's a cute little cartoony little added touch with felt ornaments.
So I have another felt ornament as well, a little fox or something. We have a cute little penguin here with little wood, wood wooden feet or like wooden shoes. And this one, I think is absolutely beautiful. It is a, I think it's called Mark Adler original. So it's a pretty nice one. It's a laser cut wooden ornament and I bought it off of Nordstrom department store. Absolutely love it. And it goes with my winter wonderland forest theme, my little winter forest enchanted forest theme, I guess. Yeah, the little penguin, isn't that cute? I think so too. So I have some more felt ornaments. I have a little owl and I personally love birds. We have a cardinal, of course, because they stick around in the winter. They don't migrate. And a little bluebird. How cute is this with the little burlap wings? And the little twig tail. Super cute. And then I have some more owls here. I think owls in a little tree is, is just so adorable. So we have some little owls.
Honestly, the weather is crap. I think it's minus 24 degrees Celsius right now with the wind chill. Like you can get frostbite in a matter of minutes being outside. But I mean, if you got the right friends, they can keep you warm inside. So we have a little skiing polar bear. And a little, I guess this is a fox. A little fox or a red squirrel, not sure. I think it's a fox. I see little whiskers. Cute regardless. You love Canada, nice. You guys are the best. Hey, look at me, I'm like rocking the colors here, right? Red and white. Very Canadian, I have to say. Oh, wrestle in Canada, that's an idea. There's definitely a market in Toronto, that's for sure. I just love this ornament. It reminds me of a disco ball, but it's all mirrored stars. And I personally love stars. They're glass, it's like a glass mosaic of stars. Really heavy. I got it from Marks and Spencer from the UK, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. You just have to find a very strong branch to hang it on because it, it weighs quite a lot. Huge goal of yours to, to wrestle in Canada. Yeah, that would be epic. You'd become an international wrestler. Maybe you've done it already, I don't know. You can buy stuff when you're there too. Yeah, it's beneficial for you for sure with the um, exchange rates. Got a few indie promotions. Destiny Wrestling run by former WWE stars and team. Jason, I had no idea you're really into wrestling. I didn't know. Damn. And I have a very special request from Loser. He is a loser. I would like to call him one officially. He is a loser. So, Loser, you are a loser, but also a winner in my mind as well. You're like a dual citizen, right? You're a loser and a winner at the same time. <laughs> I love tacos guys like I am a taco fiend I love tacos so down definitely down and sushi too Jimmy Ray I love sushi so cheers to that and cheers to loser because you are the biggest winner of the night but you're also a loser <laughs>
Yeah, Hollow 62, you are not seeing losers' messages. <laughs> but he is typing. <laughs> You are right, Jason. Ding, 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 ding. You are correct. But that's okay. It's a little private talk. So, guys, I have these snow, these paper snowflake ornaments, and they're from IKEA. One of my favorite places. So affordable. Super cute. They go with my enchanted forest. My enchanted Christmas forest theme, so I had to get them. Frank! Greetings, Frank! How are you? Welcome, welcome! You thought your chat was broken? Oh, you haven't been talking for a little bit, Apollo, but uh, good to know. Glad to know it's not broken. And, um... Oh, no way! Rick Luxury! Thank you so much for the sub, Rick! I really appreciate it! Yo, you're the best! Wow! Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you. How's the tree? The tree's not too bad, Frank. I'm I'm getting there. I I probably taken down I don't know, maybe a quarter or half of the ornaments already. Still chugging along. I'm trying to basically show everyone um, some of the you know special ornaments to me. My community loves you. I love them too, Jimmy. They're so nice. Like honestly, Jimmy. Honestly, I haven't come across anyone else's channel where everyone has been so loving and so supportive. All of your viewers are absolutely amazing. Like, it's crazy the love and support I've been getting from your channel. Um, that's why I had to raid you last night because just to show my respect and my gratitude and thank you, you've done so much for me already. And. I'm really speechless because I didn't expect it. So thank you so much, Rick, for the sub. Thank you, Miss Babs, for the, well, Jimmy, for the gifted sub to Miss Babs. Thank you to Zoo for the sub and Jimmy for the sub. So that's the more than I ever could have expected. And then also you showed me the hype train yesterday. That was my first hype train bits, the bitty bitty bomb bomb dance. Like you've shown me so much already. So I really do have to show you my love and appreciation, Jimmy, because you honestly deserve it. Actions speak louder than words. And although your words are nice, you know, it really is the actions that is showing me. So thank you so much again, guys. You guys are the, you guys are the best. Ah, I'm glad that I can make your night, Jimmy. Let me grab some lip balm because my, my lips are getting a little dry. Also, guys, I think I'm getting all these needles. Uh, they're falling off the tree as I take the ornaments off. I'm just gonna do a quick little intermission, a little sweep up, a little, a little Zamboni sweep, just to uh, tidy up a little bit.
you some hockey. Nice, Jimmy. I mean, say nice, Brick Luxury. <laughs> you love some sweeping. Me too. Me too. Bit of a neat freak. Wow, guys, I can't believe I completed my sub goal too this month. Wow, I'm so grateful. That's crazy. Thank you so much, guys. So this ornament is very special to me. I got this ornament from a little boutique shop when I traveled to Thunder Bay, Ontario, which is in Northern Ontario. It was about a um, seven, 16, 17 hour drive from Toronto to Thunder Bay. So like very far away, it was quite a mission. And um, this is imported from one of those like Nordic Scandinavian countries, I believe it was Norway or Finland. But this is the type of style of ornaments, these laser carved wooden ornaments from um, a Scandinavian country. This is kind of the style that they decorate their trees with. So I, I love it because I have other styles, you know, like, like this. So I felt like it would definitely compliment my tree so I ended up buying it and it it reminds me of my trip to Thunder Bay every time I see it as well And then we have a little toque ornament. Of course, you have to keep your head warm on those cold winter days. So we have a little toque. And mittens as well. Keep your fingers warm. North Bay has been the furthest north you've been. You've been, you were born in North Bay, Jason? I had no clue. Wow, why were you in North Bay? That's so like random. But yeah, like um, Northern Ontario really is like the great white north. Eventually you pass the tree line where leaved trees no longer grow so like there's no maple trees the only trees they have are like pine trees um, and birch there's birch and pine so eventually you get to the boreal forest and in northern ontario where you know there's no leaved trees it's just too cold for that in the winter and they don't even have raccoons and skunks as well because their winters are so long I don't think they can survive like the hibernation for such a long period of time. So yeah, there are no raccoons and skunks, believe it or not, once you go really, really far north in the boreal forest. Trust me, I'm still not sure how my parents ended up there when they immigrated to Canada. Yeah, that's strange, unless they took a boat, but like I know like people's grandparents, they ended up in like Sault Ste. Marie, because there was a port there. And you know, when they came over from Europe, they they ported, that's where they uh, they docked. And a lot of like uh, people settled there because they just ended up there. They, they, that's where the boats ported. But I'm sure your parents didn't come over by boat. They probably flew. So North Bay is um, interesting to me. I'm not sure why. Oh, 
they came by boat but they docked in bc so still how did that work If I, if I took a boat over from Asia and I landed in BC, Jason, I would have stayed in BC for sure. BC, to me, I love, I love the West Coast. Absolutely love the West Coast. BC is amazing. Super jelly for anyone who lives on the West Coast. <laughs> Rick Luxury, <laughs> Jimmy Ratio, West Coast living. Very envious, very jealous of that for sure. West side, yeah. I'm not throwing up any game 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 symbols, but uh, definitely West Side. <laughs> they know how to party, yeah. And also they're just more chill and relaxed and laid back, which I really appreciate, so I think I remember you telling me, Jason, your dad's in Cali. I've been to Cali once before. Stayed about a week. So I went to um, UC Davis to drop off my friend. She was actually taking engineering, and I guess UC Davis is, has some pretty cool like engineering classes. So she was taking computer computer engineering or something like computer programming, computer engineering. And um, all I remember on the campus, outside, like in the buildings, they had skateboard racks, which was, I was like, whoa, like that's so crazy to me. Usually you'll see bike racks, but this was a skateboard rack. I was like, that's so West Coast. And then also Jimmy, I think I told you before when I went to the Target there, they had like a electric vehicle charging station in the Target parking lot for free. And I thought that, and this was like a decade ago when I went. So that was super like high tech for the time. And I was like blown away that you could charge your electric vehicle at the Target parking lot. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And then we ended up driving, we stayed there a few days and then ended up driving all the way to LA actually. And then I even took a trip to Catalina Island Sorry about that guys, it was a spam call, go figure. Silicon Valley, yes. Yeah, so I went to Catalina Island for the weekend. We went to Avalon, Catalina Island. Super bougie and fun. Did a lot of hiking. There's like agave plants and it's very like Mexico-ish, you know? So it was very tropical to me. Loved it, absolutely loved it. Had a great time in the West Coast. Anyways, we have this little, this is like a little ugly Christmas sweater ornament. They definitely don't have electric chargers at the Targets in Buffalo. You are right, Jason, because I've been to the Targets in Buffalo many a time. Walden Galleria, uh, a lot of Canadians like from Toronto will cross the border and do a little shopping there. Um, you know, there's products that you can buy in the States that we don't that we don't have here just because our population is so limited. So yeah, a lot of the time we do shopping in Buffalo, we cross the border, do shopping in Buffalo. And I have to say, the targets are, are not nearly as nice in Buffalo compared to California. <laughs> You think so? You think Rick Luxury that we have so much product in Canada? Like what? What do you what do you think that we have that you don't have in the States? Out of curiosity. 
So we have another ornament here. This one lights up. It's kind of tacky, honestly. Not a huge fan of this ornament, but it does go with my whole, you know, light up little cabin in the woods type of theme. better toys in the US and exclusive toys. Jimmy and I both know that you guys have all the golden spots. Ooh, golden spots. Got this little ornament here. We have like a to go with my tree theme, a little joyous Noel, and also some ice skates. This was a gift ornament to me, actually. This one was a gift, but it does go with my theme. Guys, how freaking cute is this little sock monkey ornament? I had to get it. I just, I love sock monkeys. So cute. So retro, nostalgic, a little sock monkey ornament. One of my favorites, I got this one locally at the uh, my local mall. They had like a little pop-up ornament shop for Christmas. And of course, we have a little winter coat. A little woodland creature, a little raccoon. Goodbye, Rick. Thank you so much for the sub and have a good day at work. Thank you for joining me. You're the best. Okay, so I have here, of course, again, I have my little laser cut wooden Hungarian Vishla ornaments, Viva and Vegas. These little beaded ornaments are from Nordstrom. So I bought it online from the States, um, like a luxury department store. Basically lethargic, greetings basically lethargic and welcome to my epic take down the tree stream kind of bittersweet you know i wish it was christmas every day but not possible and then it wouldn't be that special 
if it was Christmas every day, right? You kind of have to have those regular boring days in order to appreciate the nice ones. I feel like the tree should have been down by January 2nd. No, basically lethargic. There is a rule actually. Trees are supposed to be taken down uh, January 6th, I believe. But because I am baptized uh, Orthodox, Ukrainian Orthodox, I keep the tree up until um, Ukrainian Orthodox, until the Orthodox Christmas happens because they run on a different calendar. And so I kept it up until then. And then also I wanted to plan around my garbage removal day, right? Because there's no point to have this tree sitting outside for days and days. So I kept it up until Orthodox Christmas this year, which was, I think, January 8th. And um, I'm taking it down now because tomorrow's garbage day. So it just kind of worked out that way. I'll be, as soon as I take the tree down, it's going out for garbage removal tomorrow. That was kind of my, my planning involved. There's a little festive squirrel and a snowy owl.
this ornament is from Marks and Spencer and it is kind of like bells and it's a star shape. I love it. We have a little woodland stag or deer and a little bird to kind of nest in the tree. So I have a set of ornaments here. We have a deer, a fox, and a polar bear. So it's a nice little wooden set, felt set. It looks very Aboriginal in my opinion. We have a little reindeer with bells and a little raccoon. You basically lethargic yeah i think the raccoon is super cute Actually, give me one second, guys.
that. Sorry about that, guys. I had to use the washroom. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jimmy. So I have this little bird here. Another little festive raccoon. This one's with a shroom. Magical mushroom raccoon. And a little like, um, what do you call that? I can't remember, but it looks super cute. Coming up short, even though. So I have more of these wooden ornaments. This is an um, ornament that I got from the, one of my advent calendars this year, the Walnut Jewelry Advent Calendar from Switzerland. It's just a dried orange peel in, in the shape of a heart, but I thought it was cute. And it reminds me of my jewelry advent calendar, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm very sentimental like that. I don't know why. Maybe it's a girl thing, I don't know. It had uh, like fishing line. And I just broke it. It was totally wrapped up on the tree. I will have to fix this one before I pack it away. It kind of just went boom. I have zero sentimental feelings towards anything. I know it was I'll fix it don't worry it's just fishing line not a problem but um yeah basically lethargic maybe that's why you have a snowflake beside your name because you're cold as ice 